pure white exterior, black 20 inch alloy wheels, and Shetland beige interior leather at with second row captain's chairs. This is something we haven't had on the channel before for the 2024 Atlas SE, and we have it here today at Volkswagen Brandon. Let's check it out. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video where today I have something brand new for us, a 2024 Volkswagen Atlas SE with technology but in a completely different spec we haven't seen before. With pure white exterior, we have Shetland beige interior and we have the dual second row captain's chairs which is something you guys are going to love. This whole setup I think you guys are going to love but the interior Chef's kiss. So with that said, I'm here at Volkswagen Brandon in Florida. I want to do a spin around this thing, check it out, see what it's all about, especially in this spec and show it off to you guys, pricing breakdown and all. So with that said, let's get right to it. Now, big shout out to Volkswagen Brandon for letting me take a spin around this 2024 Atlas SE with technology. Now, if you guys want this model or any other model that is in their inventory and on their lot, make sure you guys check the link in the description with their phone number there. Get one of these cars, get them off their lot and in your driveway today now when you mention dimensions this third row atlas suv has a wheelbase of 117.3 inches it has a length of 200.7 inches it has a width of 78.3 inches and an overall height of 70.4 inches with a curb weight of 4630 pounds now when it comes to performance the atlas se is equipped with a new 2-liter TSI 4-cylinder engine that takes performance at 269 horses and 273 pound-feet of torque with an 8-speed automatic transmission with Tiptronic. Now, you have front-wheel drive for this model here, but you can have an all-wheel drive with active control as well. Now, with that said, towing for an all-wheel drive model will probably give you around 5,000 pounds, but for the SE model, you can do an aftermarket hitch capable of towing 2,000 pounds. Now check out this pure white paint because it is doing its thing and shining in the Florida sun per usual here at BW Brandon. So pure white is basically gloss white, all right? It is just glossy, it's shiny, and it's best when clean like it is here today. Now, with that said, for the Atlas, you will see a couple of design languages that you'll normally see in this model like the big light bar we will see illuminated that goes all the way into the led headlamps and kind of curves around i really love that look for the atlas in the 2024 model year also with the big bw stamp here and the chrome grill surround all the way through whole grill you can see done in the chrome accents with obviously feed through here functional grill for cooling now it gives a sporty look to it as well and then when you come down to the bottom that continues on with the functional grill right here in the front lip done in the silver finish and then it ties in with the plastic cladding to help protect it and then on these sides here you have that silver finish on the side blades with more plastic cladding more of a sportier look here than a functional look but then you add it all together and it gives a nice front fascia a nice road presence when it comes to the atlas front fascia now there's a reason we have our stormtrooper spec there's an option that we added on this model and that is the 20 inch glossy black alloy wheels those look really good i love the way that those have the blade like feel to them and then with these cross contact tires has nice rubber to go along with it we have plastic cladding along the wheel wells to help protect it and same down the side skirt to help protect that pure white paint we have that cladding there now come up top and you will see that we have the cladding on the mirror caps as well with what would be the turn signal here and then the pure white mirror cap and then we have the black plastic cladding on the top of the window moldings but then we have chrome right here on the bottom to tie everything and we also have the roof rails done in black as well to match it up and then we have the big glass roof because we have a big panoramic roof you'll see that we option out in this model as well take a look at it from the side profile yeah that's definitely stormtrooper now here we are in the rear profile and you will be happy to know that we have something here that you guys might like and i'll bring it up in just a moment now as you guys can see the beautiful iq light bar looks so good on this thing i mean check that out iq light is just beautiful and again we will see that fully illuminated but that is 
the character of the back of the Atlas. I feel like that is the central piece right there. You have the third brake light right here and the spoiler, and then you have the black side blades as well with the rear wiper, but man, that piece is just it. With the chrome here in Atlas flavor, you also have the VW logo there, and then you have the SE badging right here to the left-hand side. Now, down here, you'll be happy to know we do have the tow hook here, so we can tow with this vehicle, and again, 2,000 pounds for that. We have the Fox exhaust tips here, as you guys will see, wrapped in chrome, and then more plastic cladding, again, in order to protect the paint make it easy to go off-road or do any towing and any harsh driving in this thing, but still keeping it look as fresh as it is. Now let's check out the rear because we have about 21 cubic feet of space with the third row folded up. And as you guys can see, the third row is folded up. About 56 if this is folded down, 56 cubic feet of space. And then if you fold down the middle as well, you have 97 cubic feet of space when it comes to the Atlas tons 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 of room all right so don't let this third row being folded up for you i just wanted that up for demonstration on the least amount of space you could have and then explain to you the most amount of space you can have now you can see that we have a couple of side pockets here when it comes to extra stowage there as well room for a privacy shade here as well i'm going to move this because i want to show you the false floor and what's under here by lifting this protection mat up and the false floor comes with it you guys will see this will be the spare tire here and then your tire jack and everything there for your tools. A little couple extra uh, pockets in case you're gonna do a tire inflate kit and stuff like that. So you have plenty of room when it comes to this model. I think it's the most practical in the lineup because of that. And wow, <laughs> this is some great space. We'll go check out the interior in just a moment, but wow. And when it comes to fuel economy for the two liter, you're looking at 20, 23, and 27. That means 20 combined city and highway, 23 for the city, 20, uh, 27 for the highway and regular fuel can be put inside of the Atlas. Now as promised, I have to show off that LED lighting and light bar that you guys saw when we first talked about the front fascia, that light bar going all the way across and seamlessly flowing into the switchback LEDs with this turn signal and the bright white there. Looks really good with the amber. And then obviously you have your LED headlamps there that turn signal there in the mirror cap. And then to the rear, the IQ lighting, which I love. Very futuristic looking. With the turn signal there, the running light there. That is just beautiful when it comes to illumination. So this is what I'm most excited about. The interior. Now, what we're looking at here is something beautiful. And it's 61 cubic feet of space when it comes to inside. but space aside the point we look at this shetland beige leather at we have not had this yet on the channel and this is absolutely gorgeous with the wood trim with the aluminum touches with the gloss black with the black i mean come on this is great let's step inside of this thing because we just want to get right to it nice flat bottom steering wheel heated steering wheel Leatherette all over the place, wireless charging. I mean, this is a great place to be. We have a 12 inch infotainment screen, 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster. Look at this. Let's take a look at the door panel because that shows us a lot. So as you guys will see, we have the wood trim, we have the aluminum here, and then we have the Shetland beige right here with preferred leather on the door and stitching to go with it as well. That looks really good. Six speaker system here, so you will see speaker grill right here. You will see your trunk release here and then your mirror controls and uh, windows and locks and stuff there with the locks up top as well. Now, with that said, looking down, we have the aluminum side still here. We have the monster mat. You will see that in the option down below as well. Then we have our seat adjustments here. Close this up. I already got the car started and running for you guys because I had to get it going this looks beautiful so again let's look at these seats wow the preparation the diamond quilted pattern that is wonderful and obviously these are ventilated seats because they are perforated seats now what helps us out is the one touch that we have the little slide the big panoramic roof now i'm closing it just you know to show you that one touch we'll do it again and slide it back oh i stopped it but let me slide it again let it go back one touch 
beautiful thing, all right? <laughs> it's just, this is a great place to be. So let's start to the left of us. As you guys will see, our lighting controls are right here on this haptic button. So our haptic panel, shall I say, under this nice perforated leather with the stitching. So wonderful materials here. So as you guys will see, I can do my lights. If I press, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I always do that. <laughs> I press it wrong. Press it up here. Now I have my lights. I always press the max AC. I got front and rear there. Um, so I press front because it turns all of them on at once, but you can press mode and it will do whichever ones you want there. <laughs> but I'm always doing that. Now with that said, coming over to the steering wheel here, you will see a button to turn up the volume for your radio controls and a button here to change the station. You also see power shifters behind that are steering wheel mounted. They move with the steering wheel. All right, big VW logo with the aluminum and gloss black trim to match our moniker here. And then we have our driver assistance controls here as well with the infotainment, not infotainment, instrument cluster controls on this side here with your hands free as well. So what do I mean by that? Well, we do also have our modes here where we can actually go between different menus here and change whatever we want when it comes to the information we want on our 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster. So we have that as well. And then we press view and then you guys will see that that will change up completely depending on what we want. All right, in the center and everything there or the whole layout. You also have your heated steering wheel control over here as well. And then behind that, we have our windshield wash washer controls and we have our lighting controls here with our driver assistance right there as well. Now then moving over this nice wood trim all the way over to the next screen, that is our 12 inch infotainment screen. As you guys know this very well, right now I'm on vehicle because I love doing this because I am a child and I just love the cool graphics that Volkswagen gives us when it comes to all of these things. So again, this system, very user friendly, um, just is, there's nothing I could really do to help explain it more because it does such a good job with all these graphics, with all the animations, showing you these different things is so easy to use. I can just swipe over, depending on what I wanna change out here. Again, it's one of those best systems from MMI that you guys are gonna to love to play with, that's for sure. <laughs> so with that said, full touch screen there. You also have your climate controls here, dual zone, so you will see on both sides with radio controls here. So I can just tap that here and you guys will see barely touching it and there we go we can turn it off as well and then we can do the radio controls there we don't want to turn up the volume there so both hvac vents there hazard buttons here our menu here for our parking all right we have our parking assist here we have our drive mode selector here between eco comfort sport and custom and we have our climate controls here which shows you our heated and cooled seats or heated and ventilated seats and then ac controls smart climate and air care as well all right, and then underneath, you guys will see that we do actually have a tray here that can cover up in case you don't want to display anything there, but we have two USB-C ports, wireless charging pad there, cup holders here, start-stop button right here, our park mode here, or oh, park mode, what? Parking gear. <laughs> Put our foot on the brake, flip back, we're in drive, we're in neutral, we're in reverse, and then that's when we're in park, we want to use the electric parking brake. So I gotta pull up to turn it on, and then push down, put on the brake, push down to turn it off. Now we also have extra storage here and this beautiful beige large armrest will give us tons of space down here, plus USB-C plugins as well. Look up, we talked about that big panel roof. Looked around the rest of the car, you will see that we do have the gloss black, we have the wood trim, we have the perforated leather, beige stitching, beige leatherette. I mean, come on, come on. Big glove box here, large glove box there. All right, and then we look up. This will be the controls that kind of shows you really quickly to the panoramic roof. So I could do the glass here and do the shade here. That's the west button. We have our dome light, flood lights as well. Big visor, close that up or open that up. And then we have our lighting controls there. This is a great place to be. I love this interior, guys. I probably made that very apparent, but I love this interior. So you know the rear is going to be just as lavish as the front, right? So we have 53 cubic feet of space in the front and 39 cubic feet of space in the rear. And keep in mind, this one has the captain's chairs. We have a captain's chairs option here, so I can actually hop in. I got the Monster Mask to protect the floor and I have it in the back to protect the floor as well. But now I can go straight from the second row into the third row with ease. So I should probably do that, just show it off to you guys to actually use it, right? <laughs> so this is a lot easier than actually folding the seats. Folding the bench down 
I can just do the captain's chairs. This is so much better. Now, obviously you lose a seat, but come on. Now look at how easy this is. Look at my space. Tons of space for my third row. I mean, look at that. I, I have, <laughs> this is this is so practical and you get the same beige, all right? You get the same uh, uh, diamond uh, stitching here and leatherette, cup holders and extra storage there. You do have two USB-C ports on that side here. So you do have charging there as well. And then you have the red toggle in case you want to fold down the seat. As you guys will see, I can just do that easily if I needed to. I mean, this is a great place to be. HVAC vents, of course, because, you know, we can't, um, can't, you know, get too hot back here. But yeah, this is a great place to be. I love it. And again, for the second row here, we got two USB-C ports up there, 115 volt there. We have our HVAC controls right there as well. Pockets in the backrest. We got our armrests here as well. I mean, wow. I love the captain share option. We haven't had an Atlas with one yet until now. And uh, yeah, this is awesome. So let's do the sticker breakdown. We have the 2024 Atlas SE with technology and pure white exterior with Shetland beige leatherette. And you have the HP automatic with Tiktonic for front row drive. Now with that said, you have a $42,100 base price. After our additional options and our 1425 destination charge, we're looking at $47,041 even. So how do we get there? Well, the pure white exterior and Shetland beige leatherette interior they're free of charge. Yeah, free 99 for that. That is with this car. So you don't have to pay for that. What you do pay for is the power tilting and sliding panoramic roof at $1,200. And then we have the second row duals captain's chairs with uh, 695 for that option. And then we have the black wheel package for the 20 inch black painted alloy wheels. $595 for that option. We have the auto dimming rear view mirror with home link, $405 with that. And the monster mats with captain's uh, chairs. We also have the $346 for that. And the WVW care prepaid schedule maintenance, $275 for that. That's where we're at. So performance, exterior, interior, safety and driver assistance, and technology and convenience. All of it is here for you guys, standard on this option. Make sure you guys check the link in the description to get the full breakdown, every little thing you need to know about what comes with this specific Atlas SE with technology, it's there. Now with that said, at $47,000, are you guys loving this interior setup as much as I am? I knew I love the Stormtrooper spec, I knew I would love that, but the interior with the beige, with the wood trim, with the captain's chairs, this is it when it comes to the Atlas for me and it being an SE, it doesn't have to be top of the line and top dollar in order to do everything it needs to do for you. So with that said, what do you guys think? Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys check the links in the description. I got Volkswagen Brandon's website link down there, their phone number. Check out the inventory, see which one of these models is right for you. Now, also make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.